Hey guys, so I have gotten a few requests over on Instagram and Twitter. Um, if you don't follow me over there, I'm at Mama's Geeky, same as here. Um, but Endgame dropped a bloopers and gag reel and I hadn't seen it yet. And people are asking me to react to it. So I'm gonna react to it, I'm gonna check it out. This is gonna be a long video. It's like a 10 minute long blooper and gag reel, but I'm here for it. I love the bloopers. Um, and I will be happy to see my favorite Avengers hopefully goofing around and having a good time versus, you know, the horrible stuff they went through in Endgame. So, um, let's check it out. Let's get my reaction. I'm Tessa with mamasgeeky.com. Nobody pull a hamstring. Warm up your butt cheeks. Warm up your butt cheeks. Copy that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I held that rocket, by the way. The thing about time travel, I can't believe I made a whole movie with this thing on. <laughs> yeah, does it look cool or? It doesn't feel cool, but if it looks cool, that's what matters. <laughs> you have any idea what's coursing through my veins right now? Onions. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Orange soda. We are getting <laughs> the whole team, aren't we? A duck. Good <laughs> <laughs> Do you have to deal with her? Ten years of this <laughs> Being able to do this new version of Thor, it's hugely liberating and, 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 and fun. We had a um, big sort of fat suit, which I think oh was sort of 60 or 70 pounds. <laughs> yeah, that's the shimmy. It was the hottest I've ever been. How's <laughs> that <laughs> Oh, I mean, amazing. Looks like it's in the right <laughs> And we had, obviously, the beard, the hair, and now these things that go in the mouth that kind of plump out my cheeks a bit, which sort of had a little effect on the voice as well, but probably in a good way, it was, it was a different four. Hey, my name's <laughs> Thor, um, 22 years old. Live on Asgard, and I like sugar. <laughs> We're shooting a <laughs> sure. superhero film, and here's one of the most recognizable superheroes, but he's just turned into a new character. What Chris does him. with that character and how it just kind of has this shift. His excitement was really palpable. <laughs> <laughs> He'd been playing the character for a while and really wanted to find something new. He has such dexterity um, as a talent. He's incredibly funny. He has just really lovely energy. Is he asleep? <laughs> no, no. I'm pretty sure he's dead. <laughs> 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 this movie is massive. Oh. It was so much fun. Insane. <laughs> it doesn't feel cool, but if it looks cool, that's what matters. <laughs> Super emotional, beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. It was really a joy. And the rest is history. Love and death. End the game. I don't know how you're going to get us through all that. Don't worry. She's got help. It was really beautiful to feel this That's sort of sweet. Marvel sisterhood, you know, and we're all coming from so many different films that we all came together. It's kind of like, I see what you do. I know your powers. Okay, show me what you got. And then we just <laughs> clicked and we were just like cheering each other on. Everyone just kind of taking their turns, moving around, trying to help each other out. It was so fun. You share. Exactly. Yeah, this so there's a connection yeah. without ever yeah. having met. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's a really cool thing about the whole battle. That day was yeah. insane. <laughs> we were all in it together, and it felt electric. It was really, really cool. Ah, so amazing! 
know, I normally don't watch playback on the monitor, but I wanted to see that reveal of all the women of Marvel. And I thought it was really powerful and really exhilarating. And I was thinking of all of the young girls in the audience who will probably feel really inspired by that in one way or another. So it was a really nice <laughs> thing to be a part of. Ah! Yeah, my girls. That's... I actually think that in some weird, and it is a very emotional thing, but some weird, twisted up, fateful way, this character who, you know, has searched her whole life for a purpose actually finds her purpose. And it's like this amazing, super emotional, beautiful thing. And what has become? Oh, I don't judge people on their worst mistakes. I can't watch this part. <laughs> Maybe you should. You didn't. I feel very fortunate. It's been an incredible gift as an actor to be able to come back to a character that's as complex as Natasha. I think there's kind of a lot to explore there, and that is so exciting. self-respect and she's pretty sick and tired of lots of men kind of not taking her seriously in the army and, and you know playing around with her <laughs> i think peggy relates to someone really fighting for what they believe in and really having to struggle all the time to prove themselves and she being the only <laughs> woman in this environment knows exactly what that feels like it's not just the normal everyday love story there's something else in the same way that we love steve because he exhibits some sort of determination and selflessness it's the same thing that attracts her to him steve learned a lot from peggy carter if you go back and look at the first avenger that is the essential relationship that i think turned him into who he is today it turned him into captain america her integrity her call to action are all qualities that have been ingrained in steve and are, are his best qualities and they come from an uh, example from peggy and so i think it was critical that, that her character embodied those essential qualities because he wouldn't be who he is without them. We're gonna need a rain check on that dance. A week next Saturday at the Stork Club. You got it. Eight o'clock on the dot. Don't you dare be late. behind him and he was oh, at a point in his life in his career where he was ready to break mm -hmm. out and do something really big and exciting. Yeah, totally John born. was in love with the idea of Downey playing the part and we all felt so sure about him on a creative level because he wasn't done. instantly a slam dunk approval I suggested we have screen tests. I remember walking in with Robert Downey Jr. the day of the tests he was laughing and in great spirits and completely at ease and he got in front of the camera and started saying the lines i assure you the day weapons are no longer needed to keep the peace so I'll happily transist to manufacturing bricks and beams for baby hospitals making hemp pants and the like but until that time can i get you a drink i don't want to call it an out of body experience but it was one of those rushes that i'm sure like somebody would feel if they're about to play a big sporting arena playing for the ring or something like that it was just like am i gonna pass out or am i gonna nail this <laughs> on that day oh that God. Robert screen tested, sure. it was clear that there was yeah. no one else who can play that part. It was magic. It was exactly the feeling as a casting director with Kevin, with John, with everyone, that, that we all wanted to have that feeling like we have it. This is it. This is our man. I'm going to cry. I miss Iron Man. <laughs> Captain, an impossible question without the context that he's making. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, I can't answer this. I'm probably going to take, well, that's an impossible. See, I, I, I just stopped myself. Pizza. <laughs> uh, pizza. I don't know. I need to know who's pizza. making these things. Pizza. pizza. Hamburgers. Because, <laughs> can I have both? Yes. Great, both. <laughs> uh, work out. Work out. That's impossible. Nah. Work, work out lately. Both, depending on the time, tends to be workout. 
Well, what are the stakes here? I mean, like, is there a job coming around the corner that I have to work out? Obviously, I want the nap, but you know, <laughs> if, if you're going to start filming in a week, i got to go to the gym. This is the fight of our lives. We are getting the whole team, right? Oh, God. What's up, regular size man? Hey, guys. <laughs> regular size man. Let's do it. Ha ha! Oh my god, I can't wait. Are you crying? No. Yes! <laughs> so this is my destiny. Avengers! Assemble. Give me that. You have the little one. <laughs> I am inevitable. And I am Iron Man. Golly. Okay, well, that wasn't exactly what I expected. It was a whole different mess of things. Um, God, it was amazing, though. It was amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it with me. Holy cow, that was like 10 minutes. But um, I really, really liked it. Uh, and game comes out next week and I cannot wait to watch it again. I can't wait to watch it again. I've seen it like six times now. Um, it's the number one movie. It's the number one movie. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Are you super excited? Are you going to be picking this up when it comes out next week? Uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Follow me over on Instagram and Twitter. I'm at Mama's Geeky and subscribe. And thanks for taking the time to watch this with me.